Aloha, everyone, and welcome to Grok in Two, where we cover Grok concepts in two minutes or less. Now, in this one, we will be going over match and wild card. Uh, the combination of these two is actually really awesome. But before I show you how it's done, I'm going to be working in this test studio. If you want to get the same exact one that I have, run the command sanity init and choose e-commerce. Now I'm going to go straight to my vision plugin. And in here, I'm going to be typing out my query. Now I want to find every title in my data set that has a match equal to KitKat. And then in our projection, let's pull out the title. Let's run that query. And now I have, I, I have many titles in my data set, but I only want the ones that match what I'm asking for. And these both satisfy that, the KitKat. Now, what if I wanted all of the titles that start with the letter K? What I could do is I could do K and then an asterisk, meaning it needs to start with K, but anything that comes after it, it doesn't matter. I just want it to start with K. So that asterisk is the wild card. Now we're gonna run that query. And here we see all of these Ks in the titles. Here's another one. There's another one. So if K is in it, wildcard doesn't matter after. But what if I want everything that has K A? Same thing. I just add the A with the asterisk and we get everything that has K A in the title. And that's how you do match with the wildcard. Now, just to take this a little bit further, I'm going to show you another way for doing this list of titles. So we have the projection with the curly, but if I did dot title, our result would look a little different, not by much, but just a little bit. I'm gonna run that. And now we get an array of our items. It's a, an, a list of items. So if you wanted your projection to look just a little bit different, you could do this and there you have it. It would look like this list. But yeah, that is Grok in two with match, wildcard, and a different way to look at your result.